Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the top five talents of the week. This is week number five, and I hope you guys will enjoy this because there are some good players in this one, especially one of them. I really fell in love with that guy once again. The structure of this video, as you guys know, is kind of clear. Player stats in the first season, how much you have to pay in order to get these players into your team, and then their stats after only five seasons. And let me tell you one thing again, these players have grown a lot, starting off at the back with the right back Semedo from Benfica. This guy has been suggested by you guys as many others in this episode have also been suggested by you guys. So leave your comments down below for the next episode already. Nelson Semedo starts off at the 74 rating, he's 21 years old and he's a right back with amazing physical stats. Already starting off with 84 stamina, 90 sprint speed, 85 acceleration only thing missing in his physical stats are his strength but other than that he is a great defender right back five foot ten tall three star weak foot and two star skills yes you can't do too many skills with this guy but you don't need to you have to pay around six million in order to get this guy into your team he is the highest rated one from the start off he's 74 rated but he has decent potential in five seasons he grew to an 81 rating and as you can see his physical stats just kept on improving he is a beast with 98 stamina he can play every single match whatever schedule you have this guy can play it you just have to improve his stand tackle and his slide tackle a little bit that is the one thing that you have to focus on if you want this guy to be the perfect defender as you can see right here this guy didn't get too many goals or assists in for me but it was enough his defending was good enough Moving on now into the more attacking positions in this team. Now, it is the left midfielder Podence from Sporting, also another player from Portugal. Yes, I just noticed that after recording this episode that I have a couple of players from Portugal in this one, but I hope you guys won't mind. 67 rated at the start, 19 years old, decent physical stats, especially his pace is at the top. That doesn't really need to change too much. His dribbling is also quite good and he starts off with 70 stamina that is something that you don't see with 19 year old players who are not too high rated four star weak foot sadly not a four star skiller but that won't be that much of a problem i only had to pay 1 million to get this guy into my team which is in my opinion a bargain because only after five seasons he grew from a 67 rating to a 77 rating and he could have done a lot better but he had a couple of injuries so keep that in mind he had like one really long-term injury so he didn't grow in that season but he is also one of those players that just keep on improving in their physical stats even though they were good enough but you definitely have to improve his crossing that is one thing you have to keep in mind he got six goals in with eight assists which is good enough for a left midfielder who is 77 rated that was enough contribution from him moving on though now into the center attacking midfield position in this episode we have two center attacking midfielders this time i decided to put one in from the bpl it is josh onoma who's playing for spurs starts off at a 69 rating really good physical stats once again but he has 84 potential. This guy can turn into a really special player. He's 18 years old at the start and you can buy him straight away in the first transfer window and let's take a look at his height he's 5 foot 11 tall which in my opinion has always been the perfect height for a center attacking midfielder he can also play on the right hand side but i would prefer him in the center attacking midfield position because he's really able to pass it around nicely as well i only had to pay around 2.2 million for this guy which is good i mean that's not too much that is 1.2 million more then I had to pay for Daniel Podence who is 67 rated. Onoma starts off at a 69 rating. So you can probably pay a little less than 2.2 million and you should still be able to get him into your squad. As you can see right here, Onoma also is one of those players that do keep on improving in their physical stats and their mental stats and their technical stats. In FIFA 15 you had so many players just not growing in many of their stats for some weird reason. There was a glitch but in FIFA 16 it seems like a lot of players do grow in all of their stats if you do not train them too much. Onoma was the first center attacking midfielder and now we are moving on to the four star skiller. Number 10 in my team. My favorite player from this episode 
Arascaeta from Cruzeiro with 85 potential, 73 rated at the start and he's 21 years old which means he's not the youngest talent in this one but in my opinion definitely the most amazing player in this episode. You have to try him out. I had so much fun with him. He was kind of like Nathan but a little bit better. Nathan from Vitesse that we tried or Nathan, I don't know how to pronounce his name right but this guy is from Uruguay, 5 foot 8 tall 4 star skiller with 3 star weak foot I believe. I had to pay 6 million in the first transfer window to get him into my team which is good enough in my opinion for a 73 rated player who grows really fast. Take a look at his stats after 5 seasons he got to an 84 rating has the most amazing stats as you can see right here 91 short passing 90 long shots 88 shot power great dribbling as well and his physical stats are good enough 71 stamina that is something you have to train so put him in to beat your man and he will be able to improve his stamina through that after 29 matches he had 26 goals and 9 assists and all of those matches are simulated guys and he just tore up teams by himself completely just destroyed them so you should definitely try him out moving on though to the left wing or the striking position wherever you want to play this guy it's Diogo Jota 18 years old he is a 72 rated player already so he's young and high rated already so you should definitely get him into your team in the first season because after that his price will go up a lot he is a great player a good all-rounder he can do anything on the pitch four star skiller four star weak foot five foot ten tall and in my opinion you should try him in the striking position he definitely is a great player up front I had to pay 5 million for Jota and he is definitely worth it but one thing that you have to keep in mind is this is a player that you definitely have to train. You have to train his dribbling in order to improve his stamina and all that but also you have to go ahead and improve his finishing. That is one thing that I want to say to you guys. Improve his shot power and also his finishing to make him a perfect striker because if you do not train him you can definitely use him as a left wing. That is one thing that you can do but if you train him and put him into the striking position this guy will be an amazing striker because he has all the stats to be able to do so in this season he scored 11 goals and got four assists but the season before that I still remember it he had like 25 goals and seven assists I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please do not forget to smash that like button that would be much appreciated 2000 likes would be amazing but as you can see on screen right now these players have been suggested by you guys in the comments down below so do not forget to leave your comments and have a nice day peace